Guitar practice session 91624. These are basically fairly sloppy practice sessions where I practice whatever I think I need to be working on, hoping this gives me a routine, helps me verbalize what I'm working on, which helps me get it in my mind, possibly helpful to other people as well, possibly providing feedback if anybody sees a better way to do the things I'm trying to basically do here. The thing about these presentations that might be different than other presentations is that we're going to have our Excel worksheet, of course, this being our fretboard the low or heavy string, the string closest to the ceiling on top, so that we're looking at a worksheet that is the same going from left to right, top to bottom, as we are seeing from behind the guitar strings, left to right, top to bottom, and much of the presentation, I'll probably orientate my guitar so it looks like I'm left-handed, so you can also see that uh, left to right and uh, top to bottom. So this time we're going to be working on what I would call position number two. You can also call it a, uh, a E major shape position if you're looking at uh, the cage system as compared to the relative major, which is going to be the Ionian uh, or C in this case. And uh, we're going to be looking at the Dorian mode within it, which I'm calling absolute uh, mode number two. So we'll locate where the Dorian mode uh, is within it in relation to the to the shapes as well as to the major scale. We'll look at the intervals in here. Basically, I, I go through my practice problem and then I'm trying to recap, in essence, what I took a look at within the practice session. So we're looking at then the intervals. We look at uh, the intervals of the Dorian, the related modes in relation uh, to the Dorian. We go forwards uh, and backwards, going from here to here, then back from here to here, and then going around the horn from here uh, back up to here or uh, down to here within the Dorian scale. That's the general process. And then uh, I just kind of mess around after that in mainly Dorian. So I just do a little, some just practice exercises uh, within Dorian and then noodle around. And then I switch kind of to the minor mode, I believe. And then maybe to uh, G minor. Uh, I try putting my guitar up top here in classical stance versus down on the right leg, more blues or jazzy or country stance on the guitar and play with that a bit. This time we're moving up to what I would call uh, position number two, starting on fret number seven, looking at the D Dorian or absolute mode number two within this position number two. So I'm calling it position number two generically because oftentimes many people call this first position number one because it's right in the middle of the guitar and that's often what people first learn and then naturally this position if you cut the guitar into five chunks along the fretboard would naturally be uh, position number two but if we look at the related major we can also use the cage system to label it like many people do and that would be taking uh, the C which would be the Ionian mode which is actually the second note uh, within the position and and if I was to build a chord based on that we would get our uh, E major chord, which would be here. So you could call this like an, a cage system E chord uh, position, naming the whole position around that. We also might call this whole position, instead of position number two, just call it the major or Ionian, what I would call absolute mode number one position, which is a little bit wonky because usually when we name these positions, we kind of name them after the first note in the position, which would be here. But that B, if I start on that B, we would actually be pay playing Locrian, which is not normally what we would name the position after, after because usually we don't play completely in the Locrian mode. We kind of use it uh, as part of what we're doing elsewhere, possibly. So maybe we, we just call this position the Ionian or major uh, position, as we start on the second note. So if you start on the second note, I'm gonna call this just the major position. If we start on the second note or just the major position defaulting to starting on the second note, uh, which in this case would be uh, the C major position. That's gonna be my general idea, a couple ways we can name that. Now, then notice that this position is interesting because it only has uh, four note, 
uh, spread of four of our fingers as opposed to the last position where we had to reach uh, a little bit to get to that B. So we had actually a, fred, a spread of five here. So the positions are not completely uniform to have just four that just match our fingers perfectly, but you know, four to five, this one here could be useful to note, only has a spread of uh, the four on the fretboard. And again, we start on basically that second note is gonna be the general idea. But we wanna start not there, but with uh, the, the Dorian. So the first question might be, well, if I know that this position number two, the second note on it, where we normally start, which is the E shape, is the Ionian mode. How do I get to the Dorian mode? Well, if I look at the absolute number of the modes, they tie into the way I'm looking at it, they tie into the major scale. So, so, that, so that means if the Ionian is mode number one, then I'm looking for mode number two, which would be the second or Dorian mode, which I'm calling absolute mode number two. Remember that that numbering system, absolute mode number two, might be a little bit different than what you've seen other people doing, but I really think it's useful to have some kind of absolute system of numbering the modes based on the major so that we can orientate ourselves just like kind of like orientating ourselves in physics and time and space, right? Otherwise, we don't know where we are on the circle and we have no point of reference. And therefore, our key here to me is the major scale. And if that's our number one mode, the Dorian is going to be called the number two mode. As you can see, it has a little lowercase two. And therefore, it is a minor mode, which by definition means it has a minor third in it. And this is indicating that it's the we're on the first of the Dorian, which is absolute mode number two, and that's going to be the D. So if this was if this was the Ionian, the C right here, that I'm just going to count up to one in my position, and I would get to the D, which of course would be the Dorian mode. So then I could say, okay, I've located in this position where mode number two is, the mode that I want to be working on. The other way we could of course see it is we have these same shapes that we saw in position one they're going to be all the way through which is what i'm calling the house or square or box double stop and then the double stop box and then the two note per string flat or hamburger and then we're back going around the horn again to the top of the box double stop which you can see more clearly up here right this is just the top bit of this two string shape so so I know that the D or the Dorian, uh, so, so here's my little story here. Remember the story. The house right here is like the penthouse where C is at the front of the penthouse. Wherever I find the box, I'm going to say, here's the box in this shape. And C's in the penthouse looking forward towards the ocean over here. And then right behind C is going to be the Locrian that's basically in the attic. So, so we don't really work with the Locrian that much although we'll pull it in from time to time because it's in the attic it's in the storage and then we've got the f which is uh the lydian another major mode uh right below it which is also has the ocean view but it's not on the top floor right and then you got the phrygian which is behind it which is a minor mode so it's the minor mode and it's looking towards you know the utility uh company over here it doesn't have that great view that the C does up front, and then the other, and then the some of the other the other Dorian, uh, which is what we're on now, is going to be out here, and it is then in its own like place over here, on uh, on its own uh, double stop. It's not in like the penthouse area, and then it's at the top of the double stop here, and then when I go down to this one. Uh, it's at the bottom of uh, the double stop. So we got the top of the double stop and the bottom of the double stop, but it's not in the square. It's in the double stop. That's where the Dorian lives. It's hanging over here with the, uh, the Mixolydian. And you'll recall Mixolydian is a major mode, mode number four, but it doesn't hang out in the penthouse either because it has that flat seven which is kind of cool, like it kind of matches what the minor people do. So it hangs out uh, with the minor scales. And then over here is the A minor, which again, obviously has a flat seven and kind of doesn't hang out in the penthouse either. The only minor 
in the penthouse square is the Phrygian, which is in like the basement on the left, looking back towards the utility. That's why the other the other ones moved out and they they like do their own thing. Okay, so that's the story. All right, that'll help us memorize it hopefully. All right, so then we're gonna say let's go uh, and just count up our. Well, if I look at this shape, I could say let's first think that we're here on that D. So we're on the top of what I would call the uh, the square double stop, top of the square double stop. And then we go doot down to the bottom of what I would call the square double stop, doot, 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 here, bottom of the square double stop. And then we go then to the, the top of what I would call the double stop square. And that goes uh, doot, doot, doot. And then we go to the bottom of what I would call the double stop square. So if I counted that up, we're looking Dorian from the D, uh, seven notes plus the octave is gonna be counting from one to eight. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the octave, okay? So then if I look at my, where's my funny note in this one? I'm comparing the Dorian to the minor mode because it's a minor, because it is a minor mode and the minor modes, the, 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 the core minor mode, Aeolian, uh, has a perfect first, it, it still has a major second, the minors do, which is a little funny because you think it'd be a minor second, but it's a major second. And then it's got a minor third, a perfect fourth, perfect fifth, but it, the minor, the Aeolian, the minor scale has a minor sixth, as you would expect. And this one has a major six on the Dorian. And then it's got a, a, a minor seven, as you would expect. So it, like all of them, if you compare them to the related, all modes, if we compare to the related major or minor mode, uh, this is the, the main minor mode being the Aeolian, then uh, there's only going to be one difference. And that means that if I look at it in terms of whole steps and half steps, there's got to be a difference going from the fifth to the sixth to get that second and in, that different interval. And then there's got to be a difference in whole steps and half steps going from the sixth to the seventh to get us back to normal so that we only have one difference in each of the modes compared to the related, in this case, main minor. All right. So then, so if I was to count this out, we say, okay, let's go do, 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 from, let's just check out the holes and half steps over here, duh, 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 duh. we're gonna go like, if we went from the first to the, the first of the Dorian to the second of the Dorian is a whole step. The second of the Dorian to the third of the Dorian is a whole step. The third of the Dorian, I mean, sorry, the second of the Dorian to the third of the Dorian is a half step. And then the, and that's normal for the, for the minor. Third of the Dorian to the fourth of the Dorian is going to be a whole step and then the fourth of the dorian to the fifth of the dorian is a whole step control v fourth to fifth it's kind of hard to do this at the same time the pick in my hand is messing me up and then the fifth of the dorian to the sixth of the dorian is a whole step and then here's the weird one it goes from the sixth of the dorian to the seventh of the Dorian, that's where the half step is. Uh, hold on a second. Wait a second. I messed up. Let me do this again. I had my pick in my hand, so it was messing me up. So we're gonna go the first. Let's see if I can do it. This whole thing like this. The first of the Dorian to the second of the Dorian is a whole is a whole step. The second of the Dorian to the third of the Dorian, that's where the half step is. And the half steps are in the square. So since I'm starting not in the square, there's only, there's gonna be two notes in between before I get back to the square where the holes and halves are. So the third of the Dorian to the fourth of the Dorian is a whole step. The fourth of the Dorian to the fifth of the Dorian is a whole step. And then here's the weird one, the fifth of the Dorian to the sixth of the Dorian uh, is a whole step. 
and that's where I get that funny major uh, nine note away major six. And then there's got to be a difference between the steps to get back in sync, which is going to be the sixth of the door into the seventh of the door in, uh, is going to give us a half step. And then we have the seventh to the eighth is going to be back to the whole step. Ba boom to seven to the eighth. Okay, so that's the idea where the holes and half steps. Well, remember the half steps are going to be in the squares going from here to here, here to here. And since we're starting on this side and then going to the bottom of the square, there's going to be two notes in between before we get back to the top of the square. So instead of if we start at the top of the square, there would only be one note in between, between before we get to the bottom of the square, which has the second holes and halves in it. So we have the first, second, and then the third is a half, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, and then six, seven. So two, three, six, seven. Two, three, six, seven. Okay, so now let's go to my, let's try to do the intervals and just look at my shapes in this position. I'm so used to being in position one. I've been doing that for so long. It's kind of hard to be doing this up here because I keep on wanting to go back. But that's the point. That's why uh, why we do this. Why I do it. I don't know what I'm talking about. So now we're going to say this is going to be the first to the second. So the second of the Dorian we know is a two note away major second like most seconds are. The inverse of that is 12 minus 2, which is a 10 note away, uh, 10 note away minor 7. So if I go, so I know the distance because if I went from the here to here, that'd be 5, 4, 3, 2. So there's my 2 note away major 2nd. So if I went from here to here, that would be a 2 note away uh, major 2nd. If I went from the E to the D, that would be a 10 note away minor 7, noting that the inverse of a major is always a minor and the inverse of a minor is typically a major. We also know that the second of the Dorian is, and this is where I, I'm going to say, well, I'm on absolute mode number two, which is the Dorian as I compare it to the major scale. And the second mode means that it's one step down, the first and then the second of the major scale. So I can take this number two minus one gives me one plus the second gives me three and that gives me the absolute mode number number three as related to the related major scale which is our key and absolute mode number three is the phrygian mode which is a minor mode which we can see is is down here in the penthouse but it's on the bottom uh floor looking towards the utility company behind it instead of in the in the front Okay, and then we're going to go to the third. So the third of the Dorian is going to be here. It's, of course, a minor third, three note away minor third, because Dorian is a minor mode. And I can count that by saying, if I go from here to here, five, four, three, five, four, three. And if I invert that, 12 minus three is uh, nine, which would be a nine note away major six, which weirdly is in here because of the, that's the weird interval. The interval is in there, not this, not from the D. But in any case, so if I go this way, this would be a uh, 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 three note away minor third. But if I go from F to D, nine note away major six. All right, Mui Interessante. And the third of the Dorian is absolute mode number two minus one because it's it's one position away from, from the major. Gives me one plus three gives me absolute mode number four, which is the Lydian. And uh, the Lydian is a major mode indicated by the uppercase over here. And you can see it's in the penthouse under C. It's still looking towards the ocean over here in the front of the box of the penthouse. All right, let's go to the fifth. So we're gonna go to the fifth, or I'm sorry, I'm going to the fourth. So now we're gonna go to the fourth of the Dorian, which is a five note away, perfect fourth. So five note away, perfect fourth, which is normal for both majors and minors. I could see it's five notes away because it's just one string down, which is five notes away, 
for one string down, and uh, and uh, if I invert that, 12 minus 5 is 7, 7 note away, perfect fifth. So if I go from the D to the G, 5 note away, perfect fourth. If I go from G to D, whoop, that's not right. 7 note away, uh, perfect fifth. All right, and we know that the fourth of the absolute mode number 2, Dorian, is 2 minus 1 is 1, plus 4 is 5. Absolute mode number 5, which is Mixolydian, a major mode indicated by the uppercase letter or number here. And you can see that even though it's a major mode, it doesn't hang out with the major C modes penthouse because it's got, the, it's got that uh, minor 7, which means that it has more in common with like the minor, the minor mode. So it hangs over here and it's right under the like the two story one with uh, the D Dorian over here. Okay, so then we're gonna go to the uh, sixth or the fifth. The fifth of the Dorian is of, is as normal, a perfect fifth. Uh, boom, boom, and that's normal. And I can see it's seven note away perfect fifth because I could say there's five notes, 10, nine, eight, seven. 12 minus seven is five, that would be a five note away perfect fourth. So if I go from D to A, seven note away perfect fifth. From A to D, five note away perfect fourth. And the fifth of absolute mode number two, Dorian, is two minus one gives me one, plus five is six gives me absolute mode number six, Aeolian, otherwise known as the minor scale and uh, that's the main minor, the main minor, and it, again, doesn't hang out in C's penthouse over here, but it's currently in the double stop, and this is the double stop square shape where it's hanging out with the Dorian. Uh, it's living with the Dorian here, okay? And then if we go to the, the sixth, we go to the sixth duh, 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 of the Dorian, the six is the funny one. We took the whole step instead of normally with the main minor would have a half step. And so we took a whole step getting to that weird flat, uh, our major six, which is weird compared to the Dorian at least. So, so that looks like this, boom, boom. So that shape is a major six instead of the minor six. Okay, so then we're like, all right, how do I count that out? Well, that would be from here, five, 10, nine, nine note away major six, 12 minus nine would give me the inversion, nine, 10, 11, 12, which is a three note away minor uh, third. And of course the inversion of, of the major is the minor. And therefore, if I go from here to here, D to B, nine note away major six, but if I went from B, measured that to D, three note away minor third. And we know that the sixth of absolute mode number two, Dorian, is two minus one, which is one, plus six, which is seven, giving us absolute mode number seven, which is the Locrian mode, the crazy one. And you can see that it is right, it's in the attic of C's house. It hangs out in the attic and people generally don't go up there uh, unless they need something. All right, so then we're gonna go to the next one, and that's gonna be the seventh of the Dorian, and the seventh of the Dorian is back to a proper seventh because we took a fun, again, another half step, which is funny, from the main minor uh, to get to the seventh here because to get us back in sync. So now we're at the normal 10 note away minor seventh, normal for a minor mode a minor seventh and the in and so i know it's 10 notes away because i can just say well there's five ten two strings away and 12 minus 10 is two the inversion is uh two notes away which would be a major second so if i go from d to c 10 note away major seven from c to d two note away minor uh major second so wait a sec 10 note away minor seven i hope i got that right and then the other is a two note away major second remembering that the inversion of a minor is usually a major the inversion of a major is usually a minor and that takes us to 
the 12 note away octave, that's the shape for the octave, which will be stretched if it goes beyond the kink in the tuning, but we're not into the kink in the tuning yet. All right, let's 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 have a breather with an earthquake. I mean with a with a joke and then we'll go back to the last one. Okay, here's a joke. This is like a farming joke. And he says he says, I have some bad humping news. And you could put like at the effing news if you want in there, but I'm trying to keep it clean. I have some bad effing news or some bad humping news. The breeding bull is not humping. So so we're so we're not going to get in any any baby cow veal or anything. And again, I'm not trying to piss off the vegans. It's just part of the it's part of the setup here. So so actually, I think we may be more more accurate to say I have some bad lack of humping news, you know, instead of instead of I have some bad humping news or bad effing news, right? I ha I have I have instead bad lack of humping news, you know, not not where the news the news isn't lacking. It's the humping, it's the humping that's lacking, you know, by the, the humping, by the breeding, by the breeding bull. That's why I have, that's why I have some bad, I have some bad humping news, man. I have, no, I have some bad, I have some bad lack of humping news, man. And that's what, okay, that wasn't, I can come up with a better story. I think there's potential in that one. Anyways, let's keep going. Now I'm going to go back the other way. So we're going to say, so let's say we start on uh, this D here. Wait, where am I? And then we're going to go, we're going to go back up the other way <clears throat> and uh, go back. So if I'm, if so, this is the, if this is like the eight, then we're going to go back down uh, to seven. Let's first just think about the shapes. So if I'm, if I'm here, so now I'm at the bottom of what I would call the double stop uh, square or double stop house shape there. And then I'm going to go to the top of the double stop square or house shape going do it and then do 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 And then I'm going to go to the bottom of what I would call the uh, square double stop. Boom, boom, boom. And then to the top of what I would call uh, the square double stop. Boom. All right, if we counted that out from here, starting this time, I'm going to say eight instead of one for the octave at uh, the D. So it'd be uh, eight, eight, uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, <clears throat> nice. And now we're going to go back one at a time and count down and say, okay, so if I'm on this D, and I go back and I go back, then I'm going to go from eight or one back to uh, the seven. So, and I know that the seven is a 10 note away minor seven. The seventh of a Dorian is a 10 note away minor seven. How do I know that? Well, it's a little bit more complicated because usually I measure from the top string. If I did that, it would be five, four, three, two. And so, and then the inverse of that, so that would be a two note away major second. The inverse would be 12 minus two, 10 note away minor seven. So if I went from C to D, and by the way, I can, I can check that by saying, well, if I counted from like this D, it'd be, it'd be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10 to that C. So if I think of it as a circle, then it's just going one way or the other way on kind of like the circle. All right. So if I, if I said this from the C to the D, that would be a two note away major second. But if I went from the D to the C, the inverse 10 note away minor seven. So then let's bring it back to the six. If I go to the six, then. <clears throat> so now the sixth of the Dorian is that funny one uh, for the for a, for a main for a, for a minor mode, which is a nine note away major six. How do I know that? Well, if I count from the B, be ten nine ten nine eight, and then twelve, and that would be an eight note away, which would be a minor uh, sixth, and then twelve minus eight is four, and uh, wait a sec, did I do that right? 
It should be, it would be five, four, three. Sorry about that. So if I went from the P, it would be a three note away. A little tired today. Three, there's a three note away, that would be a minor third. And then 12 minus three would be a nine note away, major six. So if I, if I went from the B to the D like we normally would, that shape we can recognize as a minor third, three note away, minor third. But if I invert that, going from the D to the B, nine note away, major six. All right, and then let's go bring it back to, oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Uh, let's bring it back to the fifth. The fifth. The fifth of the Dorian is a seven note away, perfect fifth. So now I'm measuring from this bottom one up, seven note away, perfect fifth. How do I know that? Because if I went from the A to the D, that'd be five notes away, which would be a perfect fourth. And 12 minus five is uh, uh, <laughs> seven, seven note away, perfect fifth. So if I've measured from the A, which we normally do, A to D, that would be a five note away perfect fourth but if i go from the d to the a seven note away perfect fifth all right and then let's bring it back to the fourth boom and so the fourth is going to be this g here so now i'm measuring from this d down here the fourth of the dorian mode mode number two is a five note away perfect fourth. I can count that up from the G, five, 10, nine, eight, seven. That would be a seven note away perfect fifth. 12 minus seven is a five note away perfect fourth. So if I measured from the G, that shape measuring from the G should look start hopefully looking familiar. Five note away perfect fifth. But if I went from the D to the G, that would be a, a, I'm sorry, if I went, <laughs> If I went this way from the G, it would be a seven note away, perfect fifth. And then if I went from the D to the G, it would be a five note away, perfect fourth. All right, let's bring it back to the third. The third is going to be, boom, uh, we're going back to here. I'm measuring from this bottom note. Boom, boom. All right, that makes sense. So that's going to be the third is a three note away minor third. How do I know that? Well, if I count from the F, it'd be five, 10, nine. That would be a nine note away uh, major six, 12 minus nine. It would be three, three note away minor third. So if I went from this position starting at the F, nine note away major six. But if I start from the D, three note away minor third and then let's bring it back to the two the second measuring from down here to the second something like that would be a the second of a dorian is a two note away major second if i count the other way from e it would be five ten ten no, ten notes away which would be a minor seven and then 12 minus 10 is two Therefore, from D to E, that would be a two note away uh, major second. So if I go from E to D, 10 note away minor seven. From D to E, two note away major second. And then here we go back to our octave. Back to the octave. Okay. All right, let's try a joke here. As it you know, I was thinking of becoming a humanist, a human, a humanist, uh, but I didn't think I could stand it because I was going to move to Florida, Florida, where it's really humid, so I, and I'd have to become a humanist. But I decided against it because I I don't like the humidity much. I'm not a humanist. I'm not a humanist, so I'm staying here in California until until further notice. Okay, that was really dumb, but I still think there's potential on that one. Uh, let's go around the horn this time from here around to this one. So this one, I'm at the bottom. So let's just analyze the shapes here. So if I go from here, 
I'm at the bottom of what I call the double stop square. And then I go to, then under that is the two note per string hamburger, which is shifted up because of the earthquake and the kink in the tuning. So that means you have to step up the invisible curve to the right to get the two note per string hamburger. And then it goes to the top of what I call the double stop, uh, I'm sorry, the square double stop. And you can see it's the top because it repeats up here. And so there it is up top. And then of course, again, it repeats here. So if I was to count that out, then we can say, all right, I'm starting on this D and this is going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I could repeat that six, seven, eight, just to see it wrap around up top. Okay, so then <clears throat> let's do our intervals from here to get a feel for that. So now I'm going to say, all right, we're on the Dorian. We're going to say the second would be from here to here. The second of the Dorian is a two note away major second. Inverse of that would be 12 minus two, 10 note away uh, minor seven. So if I go from D to E, two note away major second. E to D, to, uh, 10 note away minor seven. And then let's go to the third of the Dorian. I also, let's do the, let's do these two. I'm going to say the second of the Dorian. Dorian is absolute mode number two. And if I say two minus one is one plus two, I get absolute mode number three, which is the Phrygian mode, uh, which is also a minor mode, which is located in the penthouse here of C, but in the back looking towards the utility company down here, right? And so then let's go to the, the third of the minor and the third of the minor uh, a third of the Dorian <coughs> a minor mode is a three note away minor third I can see the three notes in between there 12 minus three is going to be a uh, nine note away major six so if I go from D to F three note away minor third from F to D nine note away major six I also know that the, the third of absolute mode number two, Dorian is two minus one or one plus three gives me absolute mode number four, which is the Lydian mode, a major mode given by the fact that there's an uppercase number here. And it's of course in the penthouse, C's penthouse here, but it's on the bottom floor, but still looking like towards the ocean up here. Okay, <clears throat> and then we're gonna go to the third uh, or the fourth of the Dorian and the fourth of the Dorian now is shifted up. So we had to go up the invisible curve. Fourth is usually right underneath, but now it's up one. It looks like a flat fifth, but it's not. We have to be careful of that. So that's gonna be a uh, five note away perfect fourth. I can see it's five notes away because instead of going from string to string being five, I have to go from here to here. That is five notes uh, <clears throat> given the distance between these two strings and uh and uh <laughs> 12 minus 5 is 7 so the inverse is a seven note away perfect fifth so if i go from d to g five note away perfect fourth from g to d seven note away perfect uh fifth we also know that the fourth of absolute no mode number two dorian is two minus one or one Plus four is absolute note mode number five, which is the mixolydian mode, major mode given by the capital number here, or uppercase number, whatever you call it, a number that's uppercase. And uh, it's not, even though it's a major mode, it doesn't hang out in C's penthouse. It hangs out with the minors because it has that minor seven in common with the minor with the minor people. Okay, so then we're gonna go from the four to the fifth to the fifth. So from the fourth to the fifth, so boom, boom. Now the fifth is stretched out. You'd think it would be back here, but it's up one because of the kink of the tuning, of course. And so that's gonna be a, the fifth of the Dorian is a seven note away perfect fifth, of course, which we can count by saying from here to here would be five, six, seven. 
The inverse would be 12 minus 7, or 5 note away perfect fourth. Therefore, if I go from D to, to A, 7 note away perfect fifth. But from A to D, 5 note away perfect fourth. We also know that the fifth of absolute mode number two, Dorian, is two minus one, or one plus five, which would be six, giving us absolute mode number six, Aeolian, which is the main minor mode, the main minor scale. All right, and so, uh, and it, of course, doesn't hang in the box penthouse, but does its own thing. Uh, right now it's hanging in the flat with its own, you know, one story place and having its neighbor over here, uh, its neighbor is the is the uh, Mixolydian. Okay, the bluesy neighbor. All right, they get along together. So now we're gonna go to here, and this is gonna be dun, dun. This is gonna be the the sixth, and so this is a the sixth of a Dorian. A sixth of mode absolute mode number two Dorian is uh, nine note away major six which is the funny one because you would think it'd be a minor it looks like it's a minor shape because it looks like it's a ten note away uh, minor seven this way but it's not because of course the kink of the tuning still in play even though there's not a kink between these two strings it's between these two strings but it's still messed up because the, it's in these two are affected by the by the earthquake so now I'm gonna say then uh, I can see then it's gonna be nine notes away because it's here to here is five ten nine twelve minus nine is three the inverse therefore being a three note away minor third so if I go from from the D to the B nine note away major six but from the B to the D three note away minor third and of course, the sixth of the of the absolute mode number two, Dorian, is two minus one plus six is seven, which would give us the mode number seven, Locrian, the crazy one. <clears throat> He's crazy. That's why they lock him in the attic up there, which isn't very nice to do. It's not very humane, but that's what that's what they do. See, it's in the box, and it's behind it's behind here. That's where the Locrian is at, up in the attic of C's penthouse of C's apartment or C's mansion. Okay, so then let's go to the next one. Uh, seven. Uh, seven, the seventh, is going to be a, uh, back to the proper for a minor mode, a 10 note away minor seventh for the good old Dorian. And again, it's shifted up, of course, so it looks a little funny down here. So you gotta see it's a different shape and I can count that up by saying this is going to be from here to here is 5, and then from here to here is 10. 12 minus 10 for the inverse is a 2 note away major 2nd. So if I go from the D to the C, 10 note away minor 7. From the C to the D, 2 note away major 2nd. We also know the 7th of absolute mode number 2, Dorian, is 2 minus 1, which is 1 plus 7, which is 8. There's only 7 modes, therefore 8 minus 7 is 1. One mode number one is the good old Ionian, the major scale mode. And it's of course at the top of the penthouse, which you can only see the top bit of within the box house shape here. And then we're gonna go back to the octave. Now just to repeat that up here, uh, I'm gonna compare this B, let's go back to the B so we can see skipping a shape to get down to here, right? So now we're going above an octave. So now this one is the low string down to here. So we would normally be measuring from here, from the B to the D. What is that? What? From here to to the to the D. Duh. But we want to measure this way. So how can I count that? So if I go back, if I go back to the B. I know that that's the sixth, which is a nine note away major six, the funny one for a minor mode, such as the Dorian. If I count it up from the B, it would be five, 10, and then 15. And there's only 12 notes in the alphabet. So 15 minus 12, it's basically five minus two, it's three. That would be a three note away minor third. And 12 minus three is a nine note away major six. So if I, if I looked at it from the B to the D, 
that would be a, a three note away minor third. But if I go from the D to the B, that of course would be the inverse, which would be a nine note away major six. And then if I go from the six to the seventh this way, we'll go from here to here. We're gonna say, okay, so that shape, uh, for the Dorian, it's gonna be a 10 note away minor seven. If I counted it from the C though, it'd be five, 10, 15, 14. 14 minus 12 is two. And that would be a two note away major second. So if I go from C to D this way, two note away major second. But if I go from D to C, uh, that should be then a 10 note away minor seven. All right, hopefully I got that correct. All right, so a lot of times when I play like in the Dorian, uh, I, 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 I play this open, D, you got this open D, which is nice. So then I could do a similar thing over here and go from this A, like holding down this A and then reaching up to the F. D here going back and forth to the open D so I kind of like that and then and then I can switch back and forth if it's the Dory and then I can kind of reach up and practice what things can I reach you know from that space and of course I can alternate from here to open to reaching here and here uh, fairly easily right so I can do like going like and then of course I can reach also up to this G now I have to be careful because the one underneath it I can't hit that one if I'm in the Dorian but I can reach up to this one and this one so I can reach up this way. And then I can play the whole D this way. If I play it here, 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 that's gonna be my D minor. So I can reach up that way. And then I can also reach up to like here and here. So when I'm playing. I can go back to the D minor this way. And I can play 
play all the notes that are in my normal C major so I can but try to make the D minor the root. Also a minor here, so then once I once I kind of noodle around here, I often go to here, do it, and then like these two, which is an interesting shape because then I can drop this one if I lift this finger up. I go back to this, so I get a heavy double D kind of sound there. So if I'm noodling around here, I kind of like. Uh, going like, and then going up. And if you're in the minor mode, I can also drop, I can also pick up this one, which is kind of an interesting note because it's not in the, it's not in the minor scale, but it's in the Dorian. And you get like a little tension because it, it's kind of a, it's kind of these two notes are going to give you tension because you've got that kind of flat fifth between those two. I also like going in the Dorian. I like going back, like from here, just going dun dun to dun 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 to dun dun, and I could do that with any of the minors. So it's kind of fun to do that, starting from the A, and then I pick up the string above it, which is an A. here on this <clears throat> and this D 
it's fun to reach up to this, which would be the third of it. And then you also have this open D right here to kind of play with, which once again gives you like that double D. So if I was to go like from this D and reach up to there, I got the one to the third. And then when I let go, I could play the A open to, because that that'll give me that's in my that's it that'll be fine but I also could try to mute it with my thumb or be more careful and when I so I get the two so I get the two D's and then I can reach down here to my fifth right and then So then when I'm kind of noodling around, I can always go up to, and then I reach up to the third up here, the third here, and then the fifth is here. And I'm muting the top string, the E, with my thumb. follow this line up here to here so I can be like okay
guitar this way. similar thing with G minor going from kind of think it sounds cooler that way for some reason enough. 